Let us say hello. Are you Ghanaian? No, I'm Nigerian. This is Peter, and that's my sweetheart. So you remind me of my family. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Can you tell me more about the family? Back home in Nigeria, I've heard a lot of things about the United Kingdom. And as a child, I fantasized day and night about London. It was a dream come true when I was told we were relocating to London. My father had it all planned out and as a captain we followed him. You're welcome to London. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yes. London City Airport. <laughs> oh, God. I hope uh, you all had a safe flight. Eh? Well, we, we, we thank God. Thank God. I said my daughters that are tired. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a long flight. Yeah. You're a bit tired, yeah? Yeah. Which country did you all come from? Uh, Nigeria. Ah, Nigeria. Yes, yes. Nigeria, a lot of Nigerians in this country. <laughs> wow. They call it the giants of Africa. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Nigeria, good people. Good people. Thank God. Good people. Okay. Okay. Is that a church or a cathedral? It's a church. It's a church. Big <laughs> one. It's a big, big church here. Yeah. We are here. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. How much is it? Yeah, 50 pounds, please. 50 pounds? Yes. Can't we pay 40 pounds? You know we are just new in this country. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's 50 pounds. We pay per mileage here. Ah. Only? Okay. He says it's um, 50 pounds. Oh. Sugar, give it to him. <laughs> but can you give me a rough estimate? This one is in Naira? Man. The moment you keep converting your home currency to the money here, you will end up not buying anything. The time that you landed in Itro, your own currency ceases to exist. So here is the land of pound and pence. 50 pound, please. <laughs> Can we get that now? Yeah. Um, here we go. Yes, thank you so much. Good afternoon. We are expatriated from Africa. Um, we are looking for this address. Yes, see? Number 45. Wow. We are neighbors. That's just the fact. <laughs> <laughs> so, what country in Africa? Uh, Nigeria. Nigeria? Yes, ma'am. What state? Osho State. Osho State. Wow. We are just neighbors. I am from Oshobo. Oshobo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. 
welcome. You are welcome. Thank you, man. That Thank is you. the house. <laughs> this is the yes. house. Yes. We've been looking. Guys, that's a house. <laughs> Coming. Oh, Grandma, he's coming. Coming, Grandma. Thank you very much. Ah, what is this? I've come to welcome you with this. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. Please come in, come in, come in, come in. feel so much at home. You are very welcome. <laughs> My little angel, do you still need some more soup? My mommy said I should behave myself and I shouldn't ask for more. Ah uh ah, -uh, mommy. Why are you stopping her? Grandma. Others say they love your meal. But if you give these children free hand, you will have no food left at home. Uh -uh. Don't worry about me. I have a lot left where this one came from. You are all welcome to this land of opportunities. I must warn you, these opportunities come with temptation. Temptation? Yes. What do you mean by temptation? Hmm. Some people come to this land and they forget their roots. They start to live this life as if there is no tomorrow. Some even forget how they fasted and prayed before they came to this country. We have come to this land with an unshakable focus and determination and we are not going to settle for less. Amen. Let me share a secret with you. What I'm about to do is what the devil hates most. And that's what he fights most. Hmm. Can we rise up with me, please? Thank you. Mercy, give me in unity, though you are four, you should stand as one. In unity of spirit, when you decree a thing, it will stand. Also in unity, when you rebuke the devil, he will flee. But remember, the devil uses the system of this land to bring disunity in homes, to break unity, to break love. Mercy, give me your hand. When you speak in one language as a family, there is no limitation to the height that you can get to in this land. God has given you two daughters, mercy and grace. I pray that they will not depart from you in Jesus' name. My dear, yeah. this is the United Kingdom you guys have been dreaming about. Yes, so who are ready? All we need now is a job. 
so that we can start working and be able to settle our bills and cater for demands from home. That's not a problem at all. Mm. All I have to do is to give you some numbers for agencies. Mm -hmm. They will call you for registration. And before you know it, we started doing extra shifts for more money to begin to roll in. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. I trust you. Anyway, how are the children? At home, of course. They are old enough to look after themselves. Mrs. Johnson, in this country, you are not allowed to live under rich children all by themselves. Underage? Don't underestimate my daughters. Let Grace handle her mala for you. And you will know that the food is not underage. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay. This is United Kingdom. Meaning we should not eat amala. If the government should find out that you are not taking good care of your children. Wait, 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 wait. I am taking good care of my children. But if the government should find out that underage children are left unattended all by themselves in this country, they'll be taken away from you. What? What kind of policy is that? I'm serious. Anyway, how is your father doing? It's fine. Okay. It's okay. That's fine. My dear, this is not a Nigeria. Things are quite different here, the way they do things. Welcome once again. I must say that you have excellent qualification, Mr. Johnson. I love the online. Allow me. Allow me, sir. I love the No, I love the Can I just call you DJ? Mr. Johnson, sir. What are you? This is the communication panel. Yes, sir. The moment you notice that this green light comes red, you know, more than something on somewhere, note it down and report it in the morning. Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's Mr. Johnson, sir. Please come with me. This is the electrical panel. Okay, sir. Whenever you hear a triple, just come straight down here and check the circle breaker and you'll definitely see one has gone off. Yes, Switch it on and everything will be back now. Yes, sir. Well, okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Lovely. Mr. I your day, Jesus. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. I believe you know what this is. Um, you wouldn't be wearing this, you know, to work. We won't provide you with a uniform. So on your way out now, just go to the store. I'll give them the um, store man uh, a ring on the intercom yes. to look for your side, which I believe they should have, and then you report for duty tomorrow night. So thank you very much. That'll be all, Mr. Yoti. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, sir. Oh, there you go. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this my handsome young man. Come and yeah. pick him up tomorrow morning. Abby, are you not staying a while? Are you seriously asking me that question? Abby, there is no future in the past. Exactly, mom. No future in the past. Are you a big part of my past? So I see no future with you. Why are you doing this? Why are you heartless? Abby, there is hope in Jesus. You just say Jesus. And the Jesus lives in you, but I see no hope with you. You left me to rot and decay. I never, and I will never. Save it, mom. Save it, mom. I'm not down for this discussion. Abby, listen to me. My years of listening to you are long gone. Just make yourself useful. Take care of my son. And don't repeat the same mistake you made with me 13 years ago. Abby, please. Please. Ah, Abby. 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 Yes, baby. How many wives does Daniel have? I'm the only one married to him. Why do you ask? Some friends say I sleep over and mom put them my uncle. Uncle? Do you remember how many? Sam. 
Uncle Rex, Uncle Natalia, Uncle Gabby, Uncle Roland, Uncle Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone? That's where he calls himself. Do you know what I want you to do for me, Gabby? We we'll pray for your mom. Yeah? Have your dream. Your mom made me lose my job. Dad, are you alright? Your mom would make me lose my job. She should be here by now. My, the bus pass, the bus pass. You know I can't go anywhere without the bus pass. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bye, sugar. Bye. No sugar at this time. Uh, oh, what happened? It's terrible. Traffic everywhere. Elevator castle. What's the name of the side and bus driver? Good. Can I have it? But mom warned us not to change into that channel. I said give it to me. Grace, that instruction was sent for you, not for me. I am not a child anymore. So give it to me. One, nine, seven, two. Is this disobedience? No, it's maturity. What are we going to watch? There's a show everyone's talking about in school. It starts in 10 minutes. But what's the show about? Some girls in my class think that they're trapped in the wrong body. They should have came to this world as males, not females. What? Are you guys still awake? It's time to go to bed. Mom, we're watching a sermon. It finishes soon. Okay. Mm. Who is preaching? Mercy. What? Who is the preacher? Uh, Grace is the preacher. Mm. Okay. Mm. What is the preaching about? Mm. Um, it's about how girls feel they are more like guys mm. and um, they should have come to the world uh, like guys. Okay. Good. What? What? Mm. what? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Okay. You should have to tell you when you finish, yeah? I'm going to bed tomorrow is knocking quickly. Mm. Good night. Mm. Whoa, seriously. I didn't know what to say. Jesus, he came, he died for us. The cross? That's true. No, it's not. Oh. 
Is this still, you know, disobedience? Be quiet. yourself play gently Salvation experience. <laughs> oh, be me, oh, oh, man, be me, oh, <laughs> be me, oh, ah, the job. Mm. Hey, word of God, waste of energy. I'm coming. Ah, Grandma, I'm so excited to see you. It's been a while. How are you, my dear? Very well, thank you, ma. Let me tell my husband that you are around. Yeah? Please take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Grandma is in the sitting room. Oh, my God. What? What's she doing here? Ah, on the meal. Why should you give her that She's an old woman that is retired. She goes about engaging innocent people in meaningless talk like our fellow retirees. All she does is keep on talking, talking, stories upon stories. <laughs> but where are you going? I am going to send her away. 
Really? Yes. Send her out? Yes, I have to send her away. I pay the bills here. Does she pay the bills? And if I don't do that, she goes about talking and talking, delaying me of my work. And she's so short-sighted, and she can't send me off the track. How dare you call her short-sighted? Relax, Gertrude. She wears glasses and she's short-sighted. How dare you call me illiterate? But I don't have room for sentiment. I'm going to walk her out and nobody can stop me. Mama, 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 it is a pleasure having you here, Mama. <laughs> I thought I should give you a surprise visit. That is very kind of you. Hey, Olawani, I did not see you in church last Sunday. Mm -hmm. I was at work. They, they needed me. Even Grace has not been coming to church. Mm. Not even the Sunday school. That is very correct, Mama. My wife and I. We had to go and walk We were very busy. Yeah. So you have decided to sacrifice your Sunday to make more cash, Abby? You are very smart, old Jare, my son. That I love you. <laughs> I'm glad you understand that, Mama. It is not easy to, to make cash in this new country, you know. Mm. Uh, we, we have to work hard. Yeah. You have to work for more pounds to get more pounds. I'm glad you understand. Even in the bit of looking for more pounds and pay, in the process, sacrifice the life and destiny of your daughter? Yes. <laughs> no, no, Mama. No, 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 no. God forbid, Batty. <laughs> Thank you very much for spending this time out of your child schedule to come and pay us visit. <laughs> we appreciate it so much, Mama. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am not ready to leave yet. Bring my bag back now. I have come to tell you this too. <coughs> Is there a problem? No problem, Mama. On the contrary, I love your stories. One thing I love about those stories is the quick way you quickly tell your stories within a short time and pass a strong message. Mama, <laughs> say about um, five minutes, you are done. It is always amazing. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, I am old enough to know that you don't want me here. Hmm. However, the Holy Spirit has sent me here to deliver a strong message to you. I will advise you to calm down and listen to every word from an old woman. This morning, when I was taking my grandson to school, I saw Grace with a boy. The picture I saw was not pleasant. Grace? Yes, Grace. My Grace? Your Grace. What picture did you see, Mama? They were holding and cuddling themselves in the open. Oh. 
Thank God it was even in the open. Grace, my daughter, we brought her up in the standards and way of the Lord. I am not denying or arguing what you saw. Uh, perhaps she was with um, friends or even a classmate out there. Mr. Johnson. Eight months ago, on your dining table, you all held hands as a united front. I start to say the devil has broken that unity. He has broken the cup. You all have been caught in the wind. I don't want you to make the mistake I once made. Yes, <laughs> You're a <right>, grandma. <laughs> Hiding in her bedroom. Is this how she was the last time you came here? No. We, we had a good time together. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll be coming back a little bit tonight. Okay. Take your time, all will be fine. Just take your time. Thank you, dear. Okay, see you. Bye bye. secret happy and I promise not to tell a single soul come on open the door I will tell the police oh no you wouldn't do that because if you do they are going to take you away from your mom and you will be miserable for the rest of your life now be a good girl and open the door go away from me I give you three seconds to open this door one mommy two where are you mommy no! Come in, please. Oh, yes, sir, please. Come and see you. I'll bring you shortly. Mr. Sarah will get straight to the point. Um, we'll be conducting our own investigation into Abby's welfare. 
and our family ensured that she had received appropriate care and attention. What do you mean? She tried to abort the baby locally, but one of her classmates carelessly leaked the secret to her teacher. What? Oh. It seems that you and your daughter are total strangers. Oh dear you! Our findings show that she's pregnant from one Mr. Keshi. You are assuming you're allowed to house quite often. No! Mr. Keshi also seems to be under arrest currently, pending further investigation. Following safeguard procedures, we cannot allow Sarah to go home today. Um, social workers are at the reception where there are also some documents you need to sign before you leave. I am very sorry. Mr. my story for you to be sorry for me. I just want you to prevent another mistake. Mm. But Grace is also a good girl. I have not told you she is a bad girl. I am very sure she will be innocent of all this accusation. My love. I miss you for so long. I miss you too. It's been three hours and thirty minutes. It's no joke, you know. I'm like, where's my love? Where's my darling? Hey, yeah, my father kept me. Your father? Yeah, he kept asking me lots of questions like, do I have a boyfriend? Am I in love? <laughs> what did you say? I told him no. Hmm. What? You're a bad girl, you know. Well, you're the boyfriend of a bad girl. Blow me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Is this the project you spent all night studying for? Who are you? I said, Who are you? Grace, you are such a disgrace. You were caught kissing a boy in school. Ah, what is she for? Us? Oh my god! Uh, ah. This is a nightmare. At your age, when all your mates are busy studying and preparing for their future, you are destroying your destiny. What has come over you? Thank God you are not in Africa. I would have beaten that demonic spirit out of you. Grace, you? And I can't imagine I was called upon to to come and to come and get this disgraceful letter. Oh, you used to be a God fearing girl. What has come over you? You are such a shame. Since we are kissing now, what will you be doing when you get to college? It was a lie. You I was not ah. ah. see your daughter. Daddy, you slapped me. I slapped you. I slapped you. Police, call the police. I think it's better for me to be in jail than stay in this house with you. Uh, don't say that. How can you say that? Uh -uh. I am not going to that meeting. You have to go there, go to our school, and represent me in that. No way. No, no, no. I am not going to. End 
any meeting. I have an highlight shift on Monday. And besides, external services are coming into our company. So I can't go. Internal or external uh, supervisor, whatever you call it. You don't go there and represent me in this disgraceful meeting. <laughs> Mr. Supervisor, I am going to no meeting. I'm not going. And if you insist, take. Take. Call the company and tell them that I will not be coming. After all, it's better for me not to even, to even go to that meeting rather than stay within the same house. That is not what I'm saying. I said just go and represent me in this meeting. Julie, you go on the school report? Really? Yes, I do. And Julie, do you have a report? Yes. Ready? I've got them. Mr. Ben, are you set? Yeah? Ready. Good. Come in, Mrs. Johnson. Please take your seat. Thank you. Thank you for coming. This Miss Joy, the head teacher of the school, and Rose, Grace class teacher, and this is Julie. And Ben, a representative from the social services. And myself, Chairman Government Council. My name is Anne. Mrs. Johnson, your daughter is a very brilliant girl with promising future, but she is very wayward. We are here today because of safeguarding issues. We are trying our best to train her in the right way. We have noticed she always fell asleep at school. That's not possible, ma. Really? It happened once. Really? Oh, sorry, twice. Um, according to our records, it has happened three times. Oh, don't cut the last one. It was due to the nature of my job. We have also noticed that her parents look so untidy. She does not do her own work. This got us worried. So we have involved the service of social workers to carry out proper and professional investigation about her well-being at home. It has not gotten to that. I promise from now on that will not repeat itself. Um, I'm afraid, Mrs. Johnson, Grace will not be going on with you today. She will have to stay temporarily with her foster parents whilst the investigation is going on. What? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Well, my advice will be you contact your lawyer and brief him about the incident. <sighs> Yeah, let's 
office. What are you doing here? The Lord has given you to me. No devil can take you away from me. Get out of this car now. Anywhere you go, I'm going. You must be out of your mind. Abby, the devil stole you, stole your innocence 13 years ago. God has come to restore you. I buried my past mother. Yes, you have buried your past. That is how it has grown into bitterness, hunger, hatred, unforgiveness. The Lord said, every fruit that he has not planted shall be uprooted. I don't need him. I don't need you either. Oh, yes, you do. The Bible says, come to me, all ye that labor and heavy lad, I will give you rest. The fruit of the past that you are carrying is too heavy for you. The Lord wants to help you. Woman, you have overstayed your welcome. Uh, get out. Get out of my car There now. are two forces in this car fighting for your soul. It's you who have to choose who to follow. Listen, woman, get out. Make your choice. Slow down life now. Are you mad? No one dear points life at my mom. How many things that I will shut her up? You know I can kill you if you hurt her. What? Abby, get out of my car! Get out! Get out! Get, get out of my car! Get out! Get out! Fuck you! Get out of my car! Get out! You wanna you two get out of my car? Get out! Who's this people? Grandma. If you cast your mind back to what I told you the first time you came, that my Bible said that if two of you shall agree on a thing, it shall be done by my Father in heaven. If you stand in one spirit, if you stand in one accord, you stand as a united front, you can still bring your daughter back home. Heavenly <laughs> Father, <laughs> bring our daughter back to us in Jesus' name. <laughs> Father, this we have you for. <laughs> I hope I've not taken much of your time. Not at all. Um, I've really learned a lot from the story you've told me. 